Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey everybody, it's Chris Perillo here. I'm sitting in the dark for a reason. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do the neon crayon trick. Uh, and this is an image that I snapped just a few minutes ago using this digital camera that's sitting in front of me or in between the video camera and me right now, uh, the Panasonic Lumix G1. Uh, this digital camera was sent to me uh, to test and I'm certainly uh, running it through the ringer, uh, having a lot of fun with it, uh, and I uh, really want to hold on to it for a long time because, uh, no doubt about it, it is probably one of the best digital cameras I've ever had. The images uh, have been astounding. Uh, I am just blown away uh, that even with a higher ISO uh, setting indoors, in an automatic mode, the amount of noise seems to be relatively minimal, lines seem generally sharp, and even the automatic mode uh, is perfect for people like me. You know, I, I, I wouldn't consider myself an amateur photographer, but I do like having fun with digital photography. So I have to, again, say thank you to Panasonic for uh, letting me test the Lumix G1. And if you want to get a coupon for the Lumix, let me know. I'll get you one. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Might as well save some money. So behind me is my neon crayon trick, and you may have seen this before. If you haven't, pay attention because you can do this yourself. It looks like I've signed an autograph in midair, and that's pretty much what I've done with this digital camera. And uh, I've already uploaded this photo to the web, and people are already asking questions. And I just uploaded it like 15 minutes ago, and they're like, how did you do it? How did you do it? Uh, well, here's how I did it. In fact, I had already posted instructions on how to do this years ago on my blog at chris.perillo.com. So I may, you know, do a rehash, trying to, you know, write them in a, a clearer fashion, the instructions for how to do this, or I'm just going to demonstrate it on video for you. So the first thing you're going to need is a camera, duh, that has some kind of shutter priority. And assuming you're not using film-based cameras anymore, your digital camera must have this feature. So uh, that I... Uh, I'm going to do this right. I've got it set on a tripod, and I've got it set to a shutter priority, and I've got it set to approximately 15 seconds of exposure time. So we're going to press and focus. Actually, I'm going to turn off the monitor before I shoot this here, but uh, I've got 10 seconds because I set it on a timer. That's important to set it on a timer because you don't want any part of the image to blur any more than necessary. And when it goes... Wait. Okay, so now the image is going to be processing. As a matter of fact, I think I had that set for a little higher than 15 seconds there. That's okay. It, it may be a, a little uh, bright, but I'm shooting in both RAW and JPEG so I can adjust the image later. And basically, the bottom line, if you didn't see me, uh, I was essentially doing this in midair, or doing my best in midair to draw my name. And there you go. You can see the preview right there. You can see at least the C just for a brief moment. So it turned out just as well as, as it did here. Uh, you can draw anything that you can think of. This is how they do those commercials, by the way. Have you ever seen those? Uh, well, they're video montages. They take still photos and they put them together. You can do the same thing. So long as you have a camera that has shutter priority on it and you'll be good to go. It's kind of neat, huh? Wicket, you can't do it because you move around too much. And I don't want you to blind your eye with one of these laser pointer things. There's the neon crayon trick using the Panasonic Lumix G1. And if you do not believe me, Take a look at the sample image that I've uploaded to the web already and just zoom in as close as you can and you will be astounded at how sharp the details are. It's amazing. And I don't know if anybody in the chat room has, has seen the original image. I uploaded it, of course, uh, to my uh, Flickr account. I posted it on Twitter and, and, and everything so you know there's no way you could miss it. And I believe the original size, yeah, 4,000 by 3,000 pixels. It's huge, huge. You know what? Digital photography is fun. Now, if you know of any other really cool digital photography tips to pass along, 
uh, we'll do it. My email address is, again, chris at perillo.com. And you're more than welcome to stop by our community of geeks. And yes, we do allow you to upload photos there. In fact, I think I posted this photo to geeks too, automatically. That's at geeks.perillo.com. And then we've got this live video feed. You never really know what I'm going to do. You know, I may be playing around with gadgets, gizmos, or trying to blind you with green laser pointers. I'm streaming my life online 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll eat you later.